Here's what you need to know before you go. I'm Mary Calvi. And I'm Chris Raggy. The search is on this morning for the man police say injured an officer with his car while fleeing a traffic stop after a chase across Manhattan. The driver crashed his Cadillac into a dining shed and then a fire hydrant near Lexington Avenue and 30th Street. Demolition is now underway at the site of a deadly parking garage collapse in the financial district. The mayor's office says it's not only investigating this tragic incident, but will also look into the safety of the hundreds of other parking garages across the city. The Supreme Court has temporarily preserved access to the abortion pill Mifepristone. Justice Samuel Alito has extended its day until Friday. That gives the high court more time to consider whether to uphold the decision of a federal judge in Texas, which revoked FDA approval for the drug. Let's get a final check of your first alert forecast. Here's Elise Finch with your weather in a minute. Good morning. So we are starting out with some clouds in the area and even a little bit of light precipitation. We're seeing some slightly brighter skies here as we take a live look from our camera atop the Empire State Building. We're at 45 degrees right now in Central Park. This is the moisture that we're talking about. We've had a sort of a steady stream here. Very, very light. For some, it's more like sprinkles. It's barely even a shower. Nevertheless, that moisture is out there. So keep that in mind as you get dressed and head out the door. We do uh, continue to see some of this moisture sort of filtering in through late morning. Then as we head into the afternoon, not only do things dry out, but they also clear up. And so when we hit our high temperatures this afternoon, it will be quite mild. Now, not for all. We head to Bridgehampton, probably you'll max out at about 59 degrees, 62 for Bridgeport, Connecticut, and Ronkonkoma. But for New York City, we're expecting mostly sunny skies this afternoon and a high of 68 degrees. Some of our inland locations will be in the low 70s. Shows should be a nice, sunny, and warm afternoon for most of the tri state area. Not as warm as tomorrow, though. Tomorrow will be even warmer. We are expecting a high tomorrow of 75 degrees in New York City. We get that with mostly sunny skies. So a nice, uh, bright, and warm end to the work week. Saturday will feature a few more clouds. It'll still be 72 degrees. And our best chance for some much needed rain will happen Saturday night through Sunday morning. So keep that in mind as you make plans. Mary, Chris?